Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the total stress, pore pressure, and the effective stress for a given soil profile. These type of problems are important if you're taking FE Civil or Soil Mechanics class. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we're giving this soil profile and we need to calculate the total stress, pore pressure and the effective stress at the middle of the clay layer. So we don't want for this whole soil profile, we just want somewhere here at 5 feet, which is the middle of our clay layer. So before we start solving, I want to first go over these three terms. So total stress or to calculate pressure in general, as you guys learned from fluid mechanics, at a given depth, we do usually gamma times h, right? Total stress in soil mechanics, we usually denote it as sigma. So we have sigma is equal to gamma h. That's how we usually calculate the total stress. Now for the pore pressure, that's just the water pressure. And usually we do sigma is equal to gamma water times h. And the equation is also on page 154. Now, the effective stress is a little bit tricky because what we do is the total stress minus the pore pressure. So we subtract the water pressure so that we get the effective stress. So uh, we usually do sigma prime is equal to gamma minus gamma water times H. So this is the effective stress. So you can solve this problem in two ways. You can either solve the total stress the water pressure, and then do total stress minus pore pressure, that gives you your effective stress. Or you could calculate the effective stress, the pore pressure, and then you can add these two to get the total stress. So either way, you will get the same answer. So the next thing is we're going to actually draw the stress or the pressure diagram because I want you to get to the habits of doing so so that when you get a little bit more difficult problems, like when we're dealing with the active and the passive pressure, it's good to get in the habit of drawing the pressure diagram because then it simplifies the problem and it helps you visualize the problem and you get it faster. So let's do that next. Okay guys, so this is our pressure diagram. This one is for the total stress and this is for the pore pressure. Now, to get the effective, like we said earlier, we're going to do total minus the pore pressure, which gives us the effective stress. Also, note that I stopped here, guys, because like we said, we want to know at the middle of the clay layer, so 5 feet. This height is only 5 feet. Now, to calculate this point, we're going to do sigma is equal to gamma times h. Let's call this sigma 1. To calculate sigma 2, we have to do sigma 1 plus gamma h because you have to include the pressure before that point. So make sure you don't forget to add sigma 1. And here, let's call this one sigma 3. And this is going to be sigma 2 plus gamma h. We also add the sigma 2. Now for this one, it's just going to be sigma is equal to gamma water times h. And this is sigma water or like reference handbook, donate it as you. Okay, guys, so let's start with the total pressure. So I have sigma is equal to 115 times my height, which is 5 feet, plus 130 PCF times 5 feet, plus 95 PCF times 5 feet. Also note, guys, that this is in PCF and then I have times feet. Now PCF is usually pounds per cubic feet, right? If you multiply this by feet, this cancels. Now you have pounds per squared, which is PSF, which is the units for pressure. So that's good. So if you plug in this, you will get 1700 PSF. So this is our total pressure. Now, if we look at the water pressure so like we said earlier if we don't have water there's no pore pressure so that will be just zero so here our pore pressure is going to be zero now the pore pressure starts where the water table starts so i have unit weight for water which is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet now if you're using si units make sure you use 9.81 for the unit weight of water so this is equals to 624 PSF. Now lastly, to calculate the effective stress, it's just going to be 1700 
minus 624, which equals to 1076 PSF. So your answer is C. Okay guys, so on the next video, we're going to calculate the total lateral force for a given wall that is backfilled with soil. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. A la prochaine.